Welcome to the Blueprint Solutions video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to manage documents. Begin by opening up the patient's file. You can populate documents within Blueprint and archive them under the Client's Documents tab, and you can now save documents as editable forms and edit them at a later time. If I go into this client's sales history screen and I need to generate a claim form, for example, I can highlight any sale, right-click, and select HICFA 1500. My diagnosis codes pull in from my audiology tab, or I could type them in now and click OK. This populates the HICFA 1500 form. Using the Show Form Data button at the bottom of the screen, you can make any adjustments you need within the table that will appear on the right-hand side. To remove the table, just unselect the Show Form Data button. You can now archive this form as a PDF on the client's file, or you can save it as an editable form. Give the document a title and select a category for it to belong to. You can optionally add any description. And now you can even assign that particular form a status. You also have the option to lock the form by clicking on the lock icon. The form would have to be unlocked prior to making any edits. Click Save. The document gets archived successfully. And now if you go into the Client's Documents tab, you can see the document along with the status. If you click on the document, you have the ability to right-click in order to edit the form again, which will just bring you back to the screen where you can use the Show Form Data option to make any changes. Resaving it as an editable form will not duplicate the file. You can adjust the properties to change the title, category, description, status, or to relock or unlock the file. You can also change the status. So after I make the necessary adjustments, I can then mark that this has been submitted. After I receive a payment from the insurance company, I can right click on the form and change the status to paid. The status options are customizable. You could lock the form at this point, or you could create a duplicate form as a working copy. You could also delete the document off the client's file if you had the correct privileges. Another option you have for saving documents on a client's file is to scan them directly into the client's file. All you need to do is click the Scan button at the bottom of the screen, select the correct scanner from the drop-down menu, and click OK. After you set your preferences, you can click Scan. Give the document a title and a category. Add any optional description and an optional status and click Save. You'll see the date the form was added, the title, the category, the type of file, and the name of the user that added the document to the client's file. Again, by right-clicking on that document, you could view it within Blueprint, print it, adjust the properties, change the status, download a copy, to the computer that you're currently on, or delete. By right-clicking on the document and selecting View, you can see the document on the screen. Use the icons at the top to save the file out of Blueprint, print it out of Blueprint, search the document, move from page to page, zoom in or zoom out, rotate the file, or use other viewing tools. When you're done, you can just close the tab by clicking on the X. Another option you have for managing documents is to store documents in Blueprint 
which you have stored on your computer. You can do this by simply dragging and dropping the documents from your computer into the Client's Documents tab. I can find the document on my computer, highlight it, and then simply drag and drop it into the Client's file. This will allow me to give the document a title, choose a category, add any additional description, and save. You can now right-click on that document and view it. Within the Patient's Document tab, you can store DOCX, DOC, PDF, and JPEG files. For example, if I have a picture stored somewhere on my computer that I want within the Client's Document tab, I can simply find that photo and drag and drop. Title the photo, choose a category, and click Save. Now, by right-clicking on the JPEG file and selecting View, you can view the photo within the Patient's Document tab. Zoom in, zoom out, or rotate as need be. And then just click the X on the tab to close any of those photos or documents. We hope you found this Blueprint OMS tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please give us a call.